I'm pregnant and guess what? I still work out and I'm still alive and I still feel great and Anthony is here to teach you the proper ways of working out while being pregnant. There are a lot of benefits training while pregnant. First, strong muscles usually equal an easier delivery. Also, training while pregnant reduces back pain, reduces headaches, increases blood flow to the extremities, which is a common problem, also increases overall functionality and a sense of well-being, but most importantly, maintaining muscle mass throughout your pregnancy will help you bounce back after you give birth. Let's go over some precautions. First, heart rate. Notice Nicole has her heart rate monitor on. Rule of thumb, do not let your heart rate exceed 140 beats per minute for longer than a 60 second time period. Also, don't do any exercises on your stomach or any exercises that cause pressure into the abdomen. Don't do any exercises on your back. This can actually decrease blood flow. Don't exercise in hot, humid environments because we want to keep our body temperature in a normal range. Also, stay highly hydrated before, during, and after your workouts. When it comes to picking a weight for your exercise, Make sure you choose a weight that you can easily execute 15 reps without struggle. If you're in doubt, go lighter. And last but not least, always make sure to consult your physician on anything you do. Our workout today is gonna to consist of a full body movement with concentration in the back, okay? First, Nicole's gonna do a squat, going to an upright row, good. Notice her whole body is active. She's using muscles in her lower body and upper body simultaneously. Good, keep going. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Again, always concentrating and maintaining heart rate opposed to seeing how you feel. If you need to stop, always do so. After 30 seconds is done, good, Nicole, put the weights down. And then she's gonna come right over to here and we're gonna do a cable seated row. Check my heart rate. Check her heart rate, as always. Okay. Her back is arched, her chest is out, and she is squeezing her back muscles with every rep. Now this is especially an important exercise for people that are pregnant, because as the breasts develop, it pulls the shoulders <laughs> forward, and that actually messes up your posture and weakens your back. That's my why boobs are huge right now, and I'm only four months. Nicole really needs to work on this exercise and we will. So you're gonna do 15 reps of this exercise, and good. Then she's gonna get a full recovery. She's gonna check her heart rate. She has to have wait a minimum of 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, if her heart rate is dropped below 100, then she can start again. And you can do five to 10 rounds of this depending on your fitness level. And now we're gonna go do some cardio. Go ahead, Nicole, start the treadmill. I'm a big advocate in doing intervals, but not telling you exactly how fast to go or telling you how long to train, it's more so about your heart rate. Now remember, we don't wanna go over that 140 beats per minute, so that's gonna be our top range, and our lower range is gonna be about 120. So, for people that are beginners, or most people pregnant, should be doing a nice gentle walk that's comfortable. Now to increase the heart rate up to that higher range at 140 beats per minute, you can up the incline. Heart rate hits 140, we're gonna walk it down to 120 and then vice versa and we're gonna do that for 20 to 30 minutes consistently. See, and then people that are in very good shape that have been running before they got pregnant can do a little more. you guys had some fun we're done with our workout yay and trust me ladies from experiencing pregnancy not working out and working out I totally recommend you to work out I feel so much better about myself um, I'm more positive and I don't feel like a whale most of the time and she looks great so until next time <laughs>